After walking with a crutch and traveling over three miles by bus to get to her favorite grocery store, South Sider Lizette Watkins arrived to find the Aldi store at 76 in Ashland closed. It's sad because look at me, I'm on a crutch, I'm pulling it and they're not here. The Chicagoan is among those left shocked after the low cost grocery store suddenly closed its doors, leaving one less affordable option for fresh meats and produce in the neighborhood. Although the store permanently closed June 12th, many residents say they found out when they went there to shop. We need more stores because a lot of people have to travel a long way to come to one store. Now the closure of the Aldi's in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood is forcing many customers to travel nearly three miles to get to this store here in the Inglewood neighborhood. That's what 70 year old James Smith had to do. I went down there today and I was shocked that it was closed. I say, my God, I got to go back all the way to 63rd Street. A spokesperson for Aldi says company officials made the difficult decision to close the store, citing crime and poor sales. And in an email writes, our decision was based on several factors, including repeated burglaries and declining sales. Out of concern for our employees and customers, keeping this store open was no longer a sustainable option. The store had been open at the location for over 10 years. I just want Aldi's to know that we thought the world of them and it's unfortunate that they didn't think the world of us. 17th Ward Alderman David Moore says he was blindsided by the move. I just several months ago um, approved for them to get packaged liquors, so I'm thinking everything is fine. And so I, I, I just don't know why the abrupt um, closing. The Aldi closing comes as Whole Foods in Inglewood is slated to close, and CVS and Save a Lot have already shuttered their doors. I'm upset now. I'm really upset. I'm really sad. What the fuck? Out of everything else that is going on in the world today. No, well not now, but <laughs> they're gonna starve us too now? I mean, I know they've been doing it already, but like this fucking blatantly right in your face just shutting down supermarkets now cuz uh, farmland wasn't enough the food warehouses weren't enough the supply chain from other countries weren't enough now it's just a shut down the distribution centers of the product so then the people can't get what they need unless they order it directly to their house which, if you piss them off, they can just turn that off too. And see how convenient that is for them. And how inconvenient it is for us. And how easy they can just turn you off. If they want. This is what they call a soft kill. It's genociding us without having to throw us into train cars and ship us off to concentration camps and waste money on bullets and dig holes for mass human graves because this way they don't have to worry about it actually uh, we kill ourselves and then we have to pay for it they don't have to do anything <sighs> we're doomed folks Fucking convince me otherwise. And go.